after a year of near dormancy, Bitcoin funds of the rogue exchange BTC are on the move again. Chainalysis, an American blockchain analysis firm headquartered in New York City, is reporting that 10 000 BTC, worth about $165 million, had been transferred. The destination of the transactions are personal wallets, exchange deposit addresses and other services. Remarkably, the transfer is the largest withdrawal since April 2018. BTCE was a crypto exchange that was founded in July 2011 and shut down in 2017 as a result of a joint investigation by the U.S. Secret Service and the FBI. According to the allegations, BTCE was instrumental in laundering money for ransomware attacks. As news BTC reported, security researchers estimated that BTCE was responsible for 95% of all ransomware payments and their conversion into fiat currencies. Russian citizen and co-founder of BTCE, Alexander Vinok, was also allegedly involved in the theft of 530,000 to more than 800,000 bitcoins stolen from Mt. Gox. After serving two years in prison in France, Vinok was extradited to the U.S. in August. As Chainalysis notes, BTCE still held a significant amount of Bitcoin at the time of its shutdown in 2017. In April 2018, BTCE moved more than 30,000 Bitcoin from its service wallet. About $50 million of that went to the now sanctioned OTC counter -swicks. Since then, the fraudulent exchange's masterminds have been relatively quiet. Only in October 2021, BTC sent over 100 Bitcoin worth more than $6 million to personal wallets and eventually to several exchanges that service Russia and other Eastern European countries, according to Chainalysis. Yesterday's transaction appears to be the tip of the iceberg in a longer planned move. The fraudsters of BTCE began withdrawing cryptocurrencies as early as a month ago. On October 26, both BTCE and its successor exchange WEX sent small amounts of Bitcoin to Web Money, a Russian electronic payment service. Then, on November 11, BTCE conducted a test by indirectly transferring 100 Bitcoin to an exchange. After seemingly being successful, BTCE pulled of yesterday's big move. Chainalysis concluded that approximately 9, 950 Bitcoin are remaining in personal wallets of the fraudsters, while the rest was moved through a series of intermediaries to four deposit addresses at two large exchanges. In the case of Exchange 1, depicted above, our analysis suggests a Russian exchange may have served as an intermediary to launder this BTCE money. Cryptoic Wants CEO Ki Young Ju confirmed that the BTC originate from the criminals linked to the 2014 Mt. Gox hack. They sent 65 BTC to hit a few hours ago, so it's not a gov auction or anything, he said. Zhu urged the exchange to suspend the account due to suspicious activity. Thus, in the short term, the BTCE fraudsters do not appear to be a threat, as they are once again only dumping smaller amounts of BTC. The Bitcoin price, meanwhile, is struggling with the crucial resistance at $16.00 USD.